Hello, it's Joe Lines, and I want to demonstrate a script I wrote that, that saves us a lot of time. So we use SharePoint to allow our Marcom managers to go in and decide who they want to target for a given campaign. And so here, let me let me go, this is, you can see what they've selected, but what I'd like to also show you is, uh, let me see if I edit, it's going to show you how, how it's actually listed when they fill it out. So they can check boxes here, right? Each of these things are different product lines, families. Um, and you can see it's a long list. It's actually broken into two separate sections. So those are products and then end equipments, right? Um, and here, this is just my example one, so I'm, I'm, I'm playing with it. And then up above, they'll have put in, um, like, the article name. In mine, I'm, I'm also putting in some illegal characters for us in our CMS. Um, here and here, you can see the copyright sign stuff. Those need to be replaced with their HTML equivalent. So let me go back here, and now what I'm going to show you is after the Marcom puts in here, our job is to take it from here and load it into Team Site. And so what we have to do, let me let me go back to here and grab some of these so we can look at them on the other one. So in here, some poor person would have to come in here and say, oh, they wanted Zatara processors. And you look at this drop-down, and they have to find, you know, hunt through here. You can't, you know, on some of them you can hit the first letter, but with the dashes it, it becomes really, really hard. And, and this, there's, I don't know, what several hundred it looks like, it would be my guess, um, of options that they have to, to sort through and find. And it's just a really tedious process. You can see each one of these things, right, especially when you see the uh, parens and a number, each one is a different thing. So there's probably like 20 here. And and then you'd have to transfer the um, the URL, the title, the content, um, start, stop date. All of this information uh, is over on the other page. So what I'm going to do is let me close this, and I'm going to demonstrate the script. So my script is going to rip this page. It's going to go back and replace some of these characters here and here, and it'll add those to the... So it's going to, um, after it rips the page, it's going to navigate to the edit version here of the SharePoint and dump it in there. But then it's going to switch over to Team Site, and it's going to create a new form, and it's going to populate um, all the values that were selected, and then give me a message box that allows me to, as a quick cheat sheet, so I can make sure everything worked. Um, so let's 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 give it a go. Oh, the other thing is I needed to give it a, um, a, a topical content for what I'm going to call it. What I'm going to save the thing out. That's what goes back in here. So that's what this pops up and says, "Hey, what's the short short name for the story?" And this is I'm just going to call this um, Joe's test. Okay, and you'll see how I use that later. So now when I hit OK, again it's going to rip this page. It's going to go to the edit version of this page. It's going to place back in the the HTML equivalents here, 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 but then it's going to open, and hopefully I can switch to it because it's so fun to watch, and it's going to populate the um, the team site version. So here we go, navigate to there. Now here it's creating the new form, and now watch, it's going to go through and pre-populate there. And so now it just went through and added and inserted new items, right? So it looks like there was at least a couple dozen here that I had. Uh, let's also go up to the top. And um, here's the URL. So this cheat sheet, this allows me to to scan through and make sure that everything was selected, right? It 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 all it is is a message box it's just showing me what was on the form, but it keeps it, it it's handy. I guess I should make it where it always stays on top too. That'd be nice. Uh, but it 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 puts it in there. Notice here how now it has the the HTML equivalents for the the copyright and uh, uh, I forget what the reg is. <laughs> But um, trademark, um, and down in here also, and it and it put in some line breaks, and it also put in my effective date and start uh, expiration date, right now. Also, watch what happens if I say s save as. Let's say I I was happy with that. I can hit, I can come in here. It takes a second to go through the server, and when I hit paste, that's where it took the name of the business unit and it took the Joe's test. That's what I asked for at the very beginning, and then puts in the date that it's going to run. So I'm not going to save this because I don't want to get it. And then let, we'll go back over to the uh, SharePoint, and here again, like I said, it, it, it put in the equivalence here, so this way when I save it, I'll, I'll have the values there. And it also filled out this for me, and notice it, because I already knew what it was going to be, it populated this here, it put in um, the addition date, which is going to be this Sunday. Um, it changed it to being submitted instead of uh, before it was uh, 
pending. Uh, but it automatically, because it's part of this process, I know I want it to be submitted. So all I have to do is just basically hit OK and I'd be done here. Uh, but that's it. I mean, you can imagine how much time this saves. It's it's a crazy amount of time when these have more than just a couple. Uh, it it takes a long time to fill out, so that saves us a lot. And it's I'm basically connecting two different disparate systems, right? That that normally can't talk to each other, and um, allowing them to talk to each other. Now it's you know every once in a while I'll have a little um, issue here or there where not all of them transfer, but it's it's pretty rare and. You know, all in all, I'd say, uh, I, I got about eight hours total. I mean, it took me four hours to start, and then took me a few more hours to, um, this is my actual script. Let's see how many lines it is. So, I, I dump things into a dictionary, and that's how I do my lookup and match the pairs. Uh, it's, you know, it's under 600 lines, and, and a lot of that is just this dictionary. So, it it's one of those things a lot of people don't realize how easy it is to automate transferring things between systems uh, especially from a web page and it can be pretty um, reliable. Thank you.